Hello, welcome to my channel Math with Nazia. In this channel, you will get a lot of tips and tricks across all the topics in math. So today we are going to learn about associative property. I have already explained what is commutative property in my previous video. You can refer that. The link is given in the description, and you can simply click on the i button given above. So today we are going to learn about associative property. So we have four different types of operators that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So now let me see the first property for addition. So associative, associative property usually has three variables. For example, it looks like this: a plus inside the brackets you can put b plus c equals a plus b and plus c. So when you have this three like this three types of variables and with the same operators it is associative property it is very easy to know which property it is commutative has two variables as i have already explained you associative will have three variables with the same operators like everywhere there is only plus no other operators so this is called as an associative property so let's take the value of a as 3 b as 4 and c as 2 i am just taking a very simple values You want to take a greater values? You can try with the same law and prove it. So I'm taking a lesser value so that it is easy for you all to understand. So now let's see. In place of a, I'm going to substitute three plus, and inside the bracket it is four plus two equals three plus four plus two. Now whatever is inside the bracket we will do first. So that is we have four plus two. Four plus two is six. So this becomes three plus six, and here inside the bracket we have. Three plus four, so three plus four is seven. Seven plus two, so three plus six is nine, and this is equal to nine. So here, as you could see, both the sides, the left hand side and the right hand side, we have got nine. So we can tell as associative property hold goods for addition. A plus of B plus C equals A plus B plus C. So associative property holds good for addition. Now let's see whether associative property is hold goods for subtraction. So the law for subtraction also looks the same. It's only instead of plus, I'm going to put a minus here. So it will be a minus of b minus c equals a minus b minus c. And again, I'm going to use the same values. So this is easy for you to understand. I'm not going to change up the values again. So this will be three minus of four minus two equals three minus four. Minus two. So here we have three minus inside the bracket we have four minus two, which is two, and here we have three minus four, that is minus one inside the bracket, and here minus two. So three minus two, and this side we have minus one minus two. So three minus two is one, and minus one minus two is right. We have to add because it is the same um, same operator because. Uh, same signs have to be added. I have already explained this in my in teachers video. So here we have minus three. So is one equal to minus three? No. So this is these two are not equal. So a minus of b minus c is not equal to a minus b minus c. Those. So associative property does not hold good for subtraction. Clear now? Associative property hold good for addition. It does not hold good for subtraction. Now let's see whether associative properties does hold good for multiplication. Now let me write the property for multiplication, which is a multiplied by b times c equals a times b inside the bracket. It's the same law. See, as you could see, addition has a plus sign here. Now let me take the same values for a, b, and c. So a is three. Three times four times two equals three times four times two. Right? I'm just going to use the same values. Now three times four times two is eight equals four times three is twelve. Twelve times two. So here three times four is twenty-four. Twelve times two is also twenty-four. As you could see, the left hand side and the right hand side, we have got the same value. So a times b times c equals a times b times c. So associative property holds good for multiplication. I think this is pretty easy for you to understand. If you found my video interesting, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that 
you get a regular updates of all my videos and if you found this really interesting do not forget to click on the like button now let's see the fourth property of associative which is the division operator so let me write the fourth property it is also similar as the previous three this will be a divided by b divided by c equals a divided by b divided by c pretty easy the same thing again the same values 3 divided by 4 divided by 2 equals 3 divided by 4 and then divided by 2 same thing i've used the same values and i've written it as such now let's see 3 divided by what is 4 by 2 let's write like this so that it is easy for you to understand now 3 by 4 now then divided by 2 so whatever is given here i've just written the same now what is 4 divided by 2 i think you all know 4 divided by 2 is 2 so 3 divided by 2 and here we have 3 by 4 which we can't reduce in the lowest form so this will be 3 by 4 by 2 so here we get it as 3 by 2 and here we get it as this 4 comes down this becomes 3 by 8 as you could see 3 by 2 is not equivalent to 3 by 8 so associative property does not hold good for a division so a divided by b divided by c is not equivalent to a divided by b divided by c so pretty easy associative property holds good for addition and multiplication it does not hold good for subtraction and division it is pretty similar to the as commutative property so commutative property and associative property when you compare both are same but commutative property has two variables associative property has three variables only that is the only difference between these two properties i hope this was easy for you to understand if you found the video interesting click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos and if you really liked my video do not forget to click on the like button if you have any queries regarding these associative property or the commutative property you can comment down in the comment section i will try to solve those problems for you and thank you for watching